would like to talk a little about Franz Ferdinand himself. So here's a very brief bio. He was born in 1863, one of Austria's 70 archdukes. It wasn't called Austria-Hungary yet. Now, he became very wealthy just before he reached his teens when his cousin died and he was chosen to inherit a vast estate. Another death in 1889 changed his destiny enormously, the suicide of his cousin, Crown Prince Rudolf. This left Ferdinand's father heir to the throne of Austria-Hungary, but he immediately renounced his position, leaving Franz Ferdinand next in line to rule the empire. He was still in this position when he died, by which time Emperor Franz Joseph was 84 years old and Ferdinand was 50. Now, if you read pretty much any bio, long or short, on Franz Ferdinand, you'll discover that not a whole lot of people actually liked him. Well, except his wife, the Duchess Sophia. She was a Bohemian aristocrat, but without actual royal blood, so the imperial house made certain that neither Sophia nor any of her children could ever inherit the throne. This also meant they weren't much accepted by the Austrian aristocracy, in spite of his position as the next emperor. And a lot of people went out of their way to treat the Archduke and Duchess like crap. One other thing that every bio is sure to mention is Ferdinand's passion for hunting. He apparently recorded over 250,000 creatures killed in his 50 years on Earth. Now, I suppose that's really neither here nor there, but what is here and there are Franz Ferdinand's beliefs. He was very conservative and, let's just call it, unenlightened to be polite. He hated the Hungarians. He thought the Slavs were less than human, and he actually referred to Serbs as pigs. He was also very strongly Catholic, which carried with it the anti-Jewish, anti-Jesuit baggage of the times. He did love his wife, though, with a great passion and the preservation of the Austrian Empire.